This is the latest Pixel Watch from Google. Let's unbox it and check it out. Dave Taylor here, and I'm a big fan of smartwatches. Now, I don't always wear a smartwatch. It's a weekend, so I'm wearing an analog watch, but when I need to be connected, when I need to be plugged in, a smartwatch is a huge boon, and there are a few on the market better than the Google Pixel, which is why I'm psyched about this. AT&T sent me this, which is the Google Pixel Watch 3, and I expect it's gonna be pretty sweet when we unbox it. Now, I should tell you, it doesn't run Android. It runs Wear OS 5.0. Now, it's tied in tightly to Android, but it's actually an LTE watch, so it has its own connectivity. Pretty cool. Now, it is in a very nice box, and I don't even need a knife to open it because it has these pull tabs. So let's open this thing up and see what we see. So these pull tabs basically mean I can slide it off the side. Let's see how that works. And then we get to here, and then it looks like it's yet another direction that we're moving things. But interestingly, there's a top half and there's a bottom half. And then it looks like that's everything inside that box. So I'm sure the top half is the watch. So let's start with the bottom half now. As I do this, I was completely wrong. The bottom half is actually the watch. So I can tell you a little bit about the watch itself because it has, let's see, is this thing able to turn on? It might not be able to turn on without a first charge, but let's see what we can do here. Um, maybe, oh, there we go. It is actually turning on. How about that? So it is a 1.26 inch display at 320 pixels per inch. So it's very high density. It's gonna have a beautiful little screen. It is 1.6 inches by 1.6 inch by 0.55 inches. So it's pretty thin, relatively speaking. And it is one ounce. The watch is incredibly light. And we still see that G there as it's slowly booting up. Now, the watch is also powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon W5 Gen 1, which is, and this is crazy, this is a watch, right? It's a quad core with four CPUs at 1.7 gigahertz, 32 gig of storage, and two gig of RAM. Now, since we are unboxing, let's see what else is in this box. Ah, okay, and so underneath that is our charging cable. And this is a little different. It has four little bumps on it, and then one assumes that that will connect to the watch. There we go. So we'll be able to use that to charge it. There, let's see. It doesn't, doesn't have a strong enough magnet to hold it up, which is interesting. Oh, there we go. So now I just had to put it in the right orientation, which is probably easier once you get the hang of it. And then the other end is USB-C. So there's our charging and the watch is slowly coming to life as you can see. So on the one side in the smaller box is the watch itself and the charging cable without which you're gonna be in a pickle. So on the other side, one assumes we will find the watch band, sure enough. And let's see what we got here. Oh, this is not so easy to get out. There we go, there's one side and there's the other side. And one of the cool things about smartwatches is that the companies have been innovating different ways to actually have the band connect to the watch. And let's see, I'm not exactly sure how this works. So I think I might, I'm gonna defer putting the band on the watch just so we can keep moving forward. So here's the watch. The band, there is some trickiness. My guess is there's a tiny button on the watch I have to push that opens up a couple of slots that the band then fits into. But be that as it may, we have the band. And then under the band, let's see, we got a whole bunch more stuff. So there's a lot going on in this box. There's another band. My guess is, yep, this is a longer one. So depending on your wrist size, you might need the smaller one, or I know I have a bigger wrist, I will need the bigger one. So I'll put the smaller one back in the box. And then in here, one presumes that we're going to get all of the instructions and such. So 
Let's see, Google Pixel Watch 3. Yes, it shows us how to put the band on and it shows us that there's a little button you have to push to get that band to fit. Now, I will tell you that it features an always on display, 24 hour battery life, a 10% bigger display, and it's integrated with Fitbit technology. So it's gonna be really good at tracking all of your athletic activities and your heart rate and your pedometer and all of that data. Even better, you can use this with offline Google Maps. So you can download a map and then if you're off having an adventure somewhere, you don't even need to have your phone for this to be connected and helping you navigate. And like I said, it has Wear OS 5.0. So tell you what, that's everything in the box. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna go away for a second and I'm gonna come back with the band on the watch. So give me just a second. Okay, I'm gonna admit the instructions were not super helpful, but I figured it out. There's sort of this put it in offset and then slide it into the correct position, but it's different on each side. However, I did get it successfully in um, set up. I might have my watch band on backwards, <laughs> but that's easy to fix too now that I've figured it out. Anyway, that's everything that you want to know about the Google Pixel Watch 3 in terms of its unboxing. It is an ingeniously packaged box with the little box and the big box all tucked together. Easy enough to work with. Getting the band on might give you a couple of minutes of tricky, like fiddling around, but then you're ready to rock and roll. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually pair this with my Pixel 8a, but I'm going to do that in my next video, which is gonna be actually a review of the unit and it will show off a lot more of its features. This time, I just wanted to show you everything that was in the box and how it all fit together. So, that's what we got. Really nice watch, really elegant feeling. I'm really excited to get it hooked up and using it. And I hope you'll come back for that particular piece of it. Now, I'm gonna ask you to subscribe to my channel. Click or tap on that subscribe button, hit the bell icon for notifications, and check out my videos when those notifications arrive, and give me a thumbs up if you found this of value. Great. Now, this is the Google Pixel Watch 3. It comes in obsidian, which is this color, or hazel, which is a light gray, or rose quartz, which is a pinkish color, and it is $449.99, or if you want to use the AT&T payment plan, it is $6.25 a month times 36 months, both at att.com. Again, I will mention that AT&T sent me this to check out, and I am very appreciative of that. And I look forward to getting this thing all hooked up and having you get a chance to see all of its cool features. That's all I got. Hope to catch you in my next video.